Today we're going to talk about a software called City Engine. It is a 3D modeling software for 3D urban environments. What it does is simple. It supports the creation of detailed, large-scale 3D city models using a procedural modeling approach, which is very interesting. Recently, it has got its latest release, City Engine 2021.1. It came with many improvements for ease of use and efficiency. So let's take a look at what is new and highlights of the main features in this release. It has more accurate and more detailed buildings using map data thanks to the OSM importer and the OSM role improvements. It also comes with new enhancements for the terrain sculpting. New functions for smoothing the border between the edits and the original terrain were added to the terrain editing brushes. Furthermore, the smooth range phased the edit part out, and the constant gradient lets you define a slope with a given angle. In this release, City Engine also adds a new importer and exporter for IFC and connects the world of BIM to the new IFC importer and exporter. So as you can see so far, this software is great for urban designers and engineers, also architects. But you can also use it as an artist to create cities for your projects. Also with the updates of the transform and join tool, you can now save and recover custom reference systems and implement them using the transform tools. You can use the global, local, or currently selected custom reference system when you make transformations. Furthermore, New snapping targets were added to the accurate joins, like snapping to the intersections of guides and faces. Concerning working with materials in CGA, this release provides a new material encoder to enable you to export materials defined in CGA to the folder containing a .cga mat file and all used textures. With the read material function, you can also reuse materials across different scenes, in addition to new functions for sorting arrays, replacing specific array elements, and implement array to string conversion. In addition, the ArcGIS 360 VR app was overhauled, and it is now web-based. This is another significant update in this release, with improvements in the render quality and additional ability to use the rendering settings of an existing viewport. The 360 VR app was totally overhauled with the migration to the web app that runs mostly on VR headsets with the modernized UI. Additionally, and specifically for City Engine new users, the new version offers a brand new City Engine tutorial called City Engine Tour as an introduction to the software. This tutorial addresses a summary of the main capabilities and it is based on a real-world urban project. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.